So step six, looks like we're gonna put this thing all the way together or very close to it. We're gonna need some more parts. So it looks like I need to orient this with the extruder, which way? Like this, yep. And I am going to grab the X axis. I'm going to grab two M4 by 16 bolts. Two more, one left. Let's put that back in the bag so we don't lose it. And it appears I'm going to actually get the extruder mount onto the aluminum extrusion. And this is where you want to be very, very careful. For one, you don't want to break any wires and you don't want to put it on backwards. So it looks like what we're going to have here matching the picture is picture we have shows I'm having the extruder face up with the Z to the right with the part we put on facing to the left as I'm looking at it I'm going to take the extruder mount with the rollers roll it this way and then that should set just set it down put it on there looks like there is something I can do here what is that? Looks like I need to, is that a belt? Yep. I see, that's really cool. So it looks like we're gonna put the other axis. How's this gonna go? Let's see, mounts like this, yep. Okay. So the two M4 by 16 bolts as I put on this other mounting bracket this is going to go line up with the holes on this side. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Let's see, we're going to start one, kind of make sure we have it before we get the other one in. Let's see. That's an M4, so we're going to M4 tool. And again, we're going to get one a little bit tight. Then we're going to get the other one started close to close to being there. And we're going to tighten it at the end. So to understand which way this extruder was supposed to go, in the instructions they're showing you, if you look on the bottom, there's some slots. So this is actually the bottom where the nozzle is should be pointing towards the bed. They're showing you the belt clips are going to be here. That's where the belts actually go. So look at that. that that's pretty cool. That's pretty smooth, smooth riding axis.